So I have got our Hello World project open and I want to show you how we can actually create a class. So what we are going to go ahead and do here is we are going to create a new parameter class just like we had talked about in some of these slides. And we are going to see how we can actually create that class in Java. So using Eclipse, it's pretty easy to do this. I'm actually going to create a new namespace for our class. I'm going to go in, go to new package, and we are going to call this printing. And actually the Java syntax is usually to have this start with the lowercase letter. So we will set this to printing. And then from inside here, I'm going to click new and then class, and I'm going to create a class, call it printer. I'm going to leave everything default here and then click finish. And you can see it's created a class, call it printer. In the details of this public, it's not really important right now. We are going to cover this a little bit more later when we talk about the access modifiers. But you can see we have our printer class here and the basic thing that you need for a class is basically this access modifier. The word class and the name class, or the name of the class and that creates a class. And because it has this package printing here, it's putting it in the package that we had defined of printing. So within this class, some of the things that we are going to want to do is to find some data members and some methods. And for now, we are just going to create a very basic class that uh, just has some data members. So what I'm going to do is basically just create some variables that are class level variables. Before we had worked with variables, we had created variables that were method level variables. In this case, we are going to create a class level variable. So I'm going to create actually a Boolean variable. So we are going to call this Boolean variable is on. And a good way to name a variable, a Boolean variable, is to use is in front of it. And it's kind of a convention that people use in order to indicate that it's a true or false value. So let's create another attribute of this printer. Let's create a string for the model number. And again, don't worry about this public declaration here. This, uh, we'll cover this a little bit more later, but for now this just telling us that we are not hiding any of this data, that this data can be set by anyone using this class. So that's enough data for now. We have created our printer class and really it's just that simple to create a class in Java. And what we have done is we have taken some things that are attributes of a printer. We said what is the state of the printer? Is it on? What is the model number of the printer? And you can see here, looking at this definition of a class, that this doesn't have the specifics of a particular printer. What we are going to do when we create an object is we are going to give values for this on or this model number. And that's going to allow us to create a specific printer.